Foster caring is a way of giving to people, yeah, in your own home. I really think that that's the crux of it, that you can help out so many people in, in the comfort of your own house. It's fulfilling. So, so much of what we do in today's society is really meaningless and fostering is one of the most meaningful things you can ever do. So when you've had a kid in your environment and they are safe and they're beginning to thrive and it doesn't matter what you've really given up along the way, especially if you've grown up having a safe childhood and you have fond memories, for them to be then creating their own fond memories is, yeah, that's the carrot. We want every kid to have a really good childhood. We know that it's a crucial time. We really want to do our best to shape these kids so they've got a fighting chance as well. When children first come to us, they're often really reserved and collected. Um, when we start seeing them open up and be more inviting towards us, it's really nice to see how bright they can shine when they're, when they're in a safe environment. Um, we had a child once that came to our house and he was part of a sibling group and it was like handed over to us that he was non-verbal. And on the second day he spoke and I was just, it, yes, it, he definitely melted my heart. It, just, you know, little things, just little gross things that happen with the kids while they're in your care is what really stands out. When you have moments in your house where like a kid's finally relaxed enough to actually play, or you get a message from a mum saying, thank you for keeping my boy safe, that's when it's all worth it. It, it does just become your life. We had um, one of our daughter's birthdays was the same weekend. We had another little boy and it was his birthday. So we decided to throw him a birthday party as well at the town hall. <laughs> <laughs> to see his um, smile when he, when we were all singing him happy birthday, it was just amazing to watch. I guess you never really know the impact you're having on a kid, but often um, if you had to have a family event yourself and your kid can articulate, they will say to you, you know, oh, I've never seen a community quite like this before. And little sentences like that are what, yeah, bring the reality of it back home, I guess. I think you know you're making a difference because you just see so much growth in such a small amount of time. The beauty of fostering with Mallee Family Care is that you do have constant support for both yourself and the child. And it can be, you know, in my case, I work and there's lots of appointments and you're trying to keep sibling contacts happening. So I rely on Mallee Family Care to do like a school pick up one day a week and things like that, which really make a difference to the overall if you are in for the long haul, yeah. Foster caring is definitely a roller coaster. Certainly the highlights would be the smiles on children's faces and then just seeing them grow and bloom at our house. And if you're open-minded and easygoing, I think anyone can be a foster carer. As long as you can provide a safe home for these kids, that's all it takes. I think if you're thinking about it, it's best to just go for it. Identify what you think it will look like, chat with Mallee Family Care, have a discussion about it, make sure it's okay and you're what, like willing to change your lifestyle, but go for it. Being a foster carer to us, it's not so much the title, it's just being, it's a feeling you get. So for us, it's being someone's safety, it's being someone's closure at the end of the day. So it's not so much a title to us, it's a feeling that we get.